welcome to my channel. My name is Brienne Beebe. I'm a high school math teacher and today I'm answering questions that I've been receiving about math homework, specifically about what I do for math homework. Now here's the thing, math homework is not for everyone. It really depends on what your school has in place, whether they force you to do homework or they tell you not to do homework. It all depends. There are lots of opinions. Some teachers don't believe in homework. Some teachers believe in a lot of homework. It really depends. Always just do what is best for you and your students where you teach. That's all I can really say about that. I choose to assign homework because my students where we are, they're not very academically motivated. So they're not the type to kind of look over math um, when they get home or review their notes or anything like that. So I'm kind of forcing them to kind of go back and look at the material a little bit more. And so that's the whole idea. And I assign homework in my college level pre-calc and calculus classes. And there it is very much about you're going to college. If you take a math course in college, you're expected to do the homework. I assign it for my Regents Geometry class where it's like we need to be reviewing periodically throughout the year. So this is a good way to get that in plus to get them looking at some other questions that maybe differ from what we did in class. And my other class that I have, it's a remedial geometry class. That class I do not assign homework in. We do a lot of classwork. So what happens is if they don't complete the classwork during class, then it becomes homework for them. But that's kind of it for that class. So in my classes where I do assign homework, I assign it weekly. Geometry, they get their homework on Thursday and it's due the following Thursday. And then in pre-calc and calc, they get it on Fridays. Same deal. So they turn it in and then they have a new one for the following week. Pre-calc and calc really comes from the textbook. I'm not a fan of it. What I do in geometry is I print out a paper for them. It is um, one page. It could be front and back. Um, usually it's front and back because I like to give them room to show their work. Pre-calculus is a very different story. So in geometry, what's really important to me with them having this, let's call it a worksheet, this like one paper, it's formatted and everything, which makes it really easy for me to grade because I'll have my answer key and their homework side by side. So as I'm glancing from the answers to theirs to grade it, I can see exactly what I'm looking at and everything lines up and it just makes it so much easier to find um, when they have the correct answer and it makes it easy for me to find where their mistakes are. When I grade the homework, I do grade it based on correctness, accuracy. That was the word I was looking for. I feel like grading for completion really doesn't make any sense. Like it's just like they did it, they scribbled some stuff down, who knows if it's right or wrong or that there's any effort into it, it doesn't really work. The directions on their homework assignment reads, each day, Thursday through Wednesday, not including weekends, there are two to four questions to complete for homework. You may complete the work in the space provided. If you choose to work on a separate sheet of paper, record your answer in the appropriate box and staple your separate sheet of paper to this one. To earn full credit, you must show some work when solving equations. So that is the expectation for them. And actually, there could be one question to complete for a day if there are multiple steps. So they can see how many points they're getting based on the number of boxes that there are. So this was all created using Microsoft Word. I know everyone likes PowerPoint, but I love Word. If you know how to use it, it's not that bad. This is all done with a table. So I'm splitting or merging cells as needed. And I just plop a question in each box. I mean, I put more thought into it. It's not just plopping them in, but that's basically how it's all laid out as you can see here. So the most common question that I get about the homework is how many questions is it? And it varies. At most, it could be 20 questions, but that's 20 like really quick, short questions. What I actually aim for is to get 20 points on the homework just because it's very easy to calculate a grade for that. And what I do is I split the homework up over five school days. So I assign homework on Thursday and it's due the following Thursday. So students have homework for Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So the weekend is not included in there. And when I assign homework to my students, I tell them, you know, this is how it's laid out. 
So you have the option, you could do a little bit each day and have a little bit of homework or you know their option, they like to procrastinate until the last minute, but they have that option because they get the homework for an entire week. They also have the option to work ahead if they're able to. I like to coordinate the homework for that particular day to go with a lesson, but that doesn't always work out because, you know, snow days happen or I'm out sick or just, you know, things happen last minute and it doesn't always line up. So I try not to stick too closely to the schedule that I might have for the upcoming lessons. I also try not to go too far into new material. I hope that all made sense. So what I'm aiming for for each day is to have that come up to be four points worth of question material. So if they are really simple, short, like solve a quick equation or answer a multiple choice question, those are usually one point. And then if they require more than just a simple equation, they could be two points. And every now and then we'll have questions that are worth four points because there's multiple steps. And I believe that was all the questions that I had in terms of math homework. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.